So today we are going to be unboxing this figure of Smart Hulk, the version of the Hulk depicted in Avengers Endgame. And uh, this figure is a product of the brand ZD Toys. Now, I had already pre-ordered SH Figure Arts' figure of Smart Hulk when I decided to pre-order this one. And the reason I pre-ordered this one despite that is because that version uh, of, you know, or should I say that figure of Smart Hulk won't be released until October. And I'm just really eager to get my hands on a figure of Smart Hulk that's screen accurate as quickly as possible because I really like uh, this version of the Hulk. I really do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I miss the, you know, old classic Savage uh, you know, iteration of the Hulk featured in, you know, the previous uh, films in the MCU featuring the Hulk. But um, I really like this one as well, and I love the role that he plays in the movie. In my opinion, he's the hero of the movie because he's the one who reverses, you know, Thanos' snap. And uh, he, he does so and survives, you know, which proves, in my opinion, that he is indeed the strongest Avenger. I mean, he does suffer a serious injury as a result of doing so, but despite that, uh, he's still, in my opinion, you know, proved to be the strongest Avenger. I mean, he overall, considering how much power, you know, was being channeled through his body, he took it like a champ. So, um, yeah, he's the boss, in my opinion. Uh, I, I, I understand that the movie, you know, presents Tony Stark as the, the main hero, but for me, it's Smart Hulk. You know, this this guy is just awesome. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, unbox him. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where do I start? Where do I start? Uh, maybe I should show you guys uh, the box first, as you can see. Um, yeah, this is pretty damn neat. Now, I don't know much about ZD Toys, the brand that uh, made this figure. But... Um, Based on, uh, you know, the presentation here, based on this packaging, I've got to say it's a legitimate brand. I'm guessing it's a legitimate brand in China because um, this is a pretty good looking figure as far as I can see thus far through the packaging. And, uh, you know, as far as I can, you know, tell based on uh, the quality of the packaging itself, this doesn't seem like some cheap knockoff, quite frankly. You know, it has everything you'd expect from a legitimate release of a figure. It, it seems to, you know, it has logos. Um, I'm guessing, uh, you know, uh, technical information, information about, you know, uh, licenses and whatnot. So, I, I, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure that, you know, that's the sort of information contained here. But that's how it looks to me because, you know, I don't read Chinese. But um, that's how it looks to me. Anyhow, uh nothing on the bottom of the box let's just go ahead and open this before I put the box away this is what the inside of the box looks like, in case you care to know. Sorry, I don't have much room here, forgive me. That's what the inside of the box looks like, so let's put the box down. And uh, this is a bag, a satchel that comes with uh, this version of the figure. There are, uh, there are about three versions you can order, each of which comes with a, you know certain accessories. So anyhow, here's the figure itself. Let's get it out of this uh, plastic. Oh, crap. Captain Marvel, she fell. I'm so sorry, Carol. Please forgive me. Let's fix her head a bit. All right, she's good. Right. Now, um, this feels like a pretty well-made figure. You know, uh, I should tell you guys how much it cost me.
the price for the base model, uh, the one that comes with no accessories, was about seventeen dollars. And then uh, there's uh, a second version that comes with um, a more basic set of accessories than the the one that I have here. That cost about twenty twenty two dollars. And this version here, which comes with the satchel and some more accessories that are inside of the satchel, uh, this version costs about $27 total. So um, if you just want the figure itself, remember only 17 bucks, not bad. And you know, despite that, it, it feels you know, like a quality figure. This does not feel, as I said before, um, or should I say this does not feel, which is in accord with what I said before, like a cheap you know, knockoff. Uh, this feels like a you know an official figure and look at the face sculpt it really does look like smart hulk i mean look at it it really does look like mark ruffalo so this this definitely in my opinion is not some cheap knockoff i'm gonna do some more research on zd toys after this video uh, it, it's got to be a legit brand based on the quality of this figure here now let's um test out the articulation uh the head you can move the head, I should say, can move to the sides. In fact, it can move a full 360 degrees. But um, admittedly, there is no pivot. You can't tilt his head up, really. You can't. Can the head even come off? Yes, it can. There's a really large uh, ball joint. Pop the head back on. So you can move the head around, but you can't tilt it up or down. Um, we have this uh, upper waist joint which allows us to pivot his upper torso upward not by too much but to a respectable degree i guess you know uh as for his arms let's see you can, you can lift his arms up like this you can rotate them 360 degrees in their sockets uh let's see um you can bend his arms at the elbows. Pretty basic. So, so far the articulation doesn't seem like anything special, but remember this is a cheap $17 figure. So, you know, considering that, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, overall, I'm really just satisfied just because of the sculpt and the fact that it's screen accurate in terms of uh, the costume. So uh, there's no articulation at the waist whatsoever. You can't turn him at the waist to the sides. You can't pivot him at the waist. Uh, let's take a look at the legs. His leg, his legs, uh, this is his um, left leg. It can lift up not a full 90 degrees, but you know, for a bulky figure like this, this is pretty respectable. Uh, he does have double joints at the knees, which is pretty neat. So uh, the knees can bend a full 90 degrees, which is very nice. Uh, the feet can turn a full 360 degrees, but they cannot pivot. So um, the articulation is pretty limited in that regard. So yeah, overall the articulation isn't anything spectacular, but you know, this isn't a figure that costs like 50 bucks, you know, like what you would expect from SH Figure Arts. It's only seventeen dollars. Um, now, of course, um, Marvel Legends figures tend to have better articulation, despite being only barely more expensive. But they're still more expensive, you know, in general, about twenty four ninety nine. So, you know, considering that this figure, the base model, that is the figure itself, is only seventeen bucks, the articulation isn't bad. You know, it's not bad at all. I'm satisfied. So, um, let's see what's inside of the satchel here. Okay, you got this um, Coke bottle. What else do we have? You have this uh, really poor sculpt of the uh, Time Stone. It's just way too large. You have these headphones. And you have this uh, this glass this glass uh, cup of of beer. I'm guessing. Mm, I didn't know that the that the Hulk 
like to drink. And you have the satchel itself, of course, which is very nice. So, as I said before, there's a version of this figure that comes with less accessories than what you see before you hear. And there's a version that comes with no accessories. And, you know, depending on what you choose, the price will differ from the $27 or so that I paid for mine. 